Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and welcome to your 8th TypeScript programming tutorial. So in this one, I want to talk about type assertion. And it's basically just like casting in other languages. And this means that you're going to use this whenever you uh, essentially know more than the actual compiler. And that's taken directly from the TypeScript documentation. Now this means that whenever a function returns a generic type, um, and you know that it's going to return you a more specific type, you're going to use type assertion. Okay, so let's just show you with an example. Let's say inside your um, inside a HTML file, okay, you have an input um, element with an ID of INP or maybe my INP with a type of text. Now, inside your TypeScript, you're going to want to obviously get this element. Um, and then you use it. Okay, so normally you would do this. You would say, okay, let's define a new constant called my INP equal to document dot get element by ID and pass in my INP. Okay, so with this right here, this get element by ID method gives you, as the um, as the annotation says, it gives you an HTML element type. Okay, but in actual fact, in JavaScript, most of the time, or basically all the time, it's going to instead give you something called an HTML input element. Okay, and it looks like this HTML input element. Now, that one right there, that type actually has a property called value. Okay, so it looks like this. Input element dot value. All right. The thing is though, the HTML element returned by this get element by ID method does not have that value property. Okay, so this is basically a child class of the HTML element parent class. So now this means that this type right here is actually of type HTML element, which means I can't actually say console.log my INP dot value. Okay, we get a underline. And that's because it says, okay, value does not exist on HTML element. This is obviously a TypeScript um, restriction. The code actually compiles, as you can see. However, the TypeScript compiler, or I guess, um, you know, uh, Visual Studio Code, the actual message appears okay and the compile will actually complain so to essentially our goal is to actually convert or assume that the type of this is actually meant to be HTML input element so let's say my input and give it a type of HTML input element that does also not work that's okay however this right there is not okay this is saying that that method gives you an HTML element instead of a input element. So this is where type assertion actually comes into play. Okay. Now we can do this one of two ways. The first way is by saying this, put two angle brackets and then say HTML input element. Okay. Saving this one gives us no more errors. And that right there is saying, you know what, mate? Treat that right there as a HTML input element. Okay, that's the first way. The second way is doing this. We can get rid of all this and then say that return value and then space as HTML input element. Okay, that does the same effect except it's more of a longer syntax depending on the situation. All right. And that right there is the same effect. And that is how you can use type assertions within TypeScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.